Let's start with Arsenal. And that man, Mikel Arteta, has admitted Arsenal need players. And despite growing calls from supporters to sign a striker like Ivan Tony, we understand they're focusing more on the defence. Aston Villa understood to be in the market for a right-back and an attacking midfielder. Callum Chambers may be allowed to leave. Now, Bournemouth are open to improving in the full-back positions primarily, but are also looking at central midfield and potentially another striker. That's if they lose any players in that position. Brentford's priority in the January window is a left winger. Real Betis winger Asan Diao and PSV's Johan Bakayoko, who they tried to sign in the summer, are thought to be targets. Brighton are thought to be looking at improving fullback positions, and Sky Sports News has already reported their interest in Boca Juniors' young left back Valentin Barco. Burnley open to strengthening in a number of positions, including right back, left back, centre back, centre midfield, and striker. Chelsea, Maurizio Pochettino has made it clear he would like to do more work in the transfer market, and a striker is a priority for him. Ivan Tony and Victor Osserman, obvious targets, but difficult to get out of their clubs in January. Injuries to Czech Decore and Joel Ward could see Crystal Palace target a midfielder and a right back. Everton's financial problems are well documented, but the priority positions are a winger and another centre back. Yep, as for Fulham, the focus could be on the future of midfielder João Polina. If he was to leave, Andre of Fluminese is thought to be first choice as replacement. As it stands, Liverpool are unlikely to sign any players in the January transfer window, but never say never. Never say never indeed. Luton looking for a new centre-back following the cardiac arrest suffered by Tom Lockyer. They are also keen to sign another central midfield player. As we've been speaking about, Calvin Phillips is likely to leave the club this month at Manchester City. Juventus have held talks with Pep Guardiola's side over a potential loan deal, whilst Newcastle have a passing interest, although City would rather sell than send him out on loan. As we've been reporting, Borussia Dortmund are in talks with Manchester United over the loan signing of winger Jadon Sancho. Newcastle's priority this month has always been replacing the suspended Sandro Tonali with a lone midfielder, but as Eddie Howe has said, they have to be conscious of FFP. Nottingham Forest manager Nuno Espirito Santo will assess his squad before deciding on arrivals and departures. There are a number of clubs looking at Seru Gurassi. New manager Chris Wilder has been assessing the squad and Sky Sports News understands he wants players who can immediately improve them. They're interested in the former Blackburn striker Ben Brereton Diaz, who's currently at Villarreal. Tottenham are in talks with Genoa to sign central defender Radu Dragazin. Sergio Regulon has returned to the club after his loan spell at Manchester United was cut short. West Ham wants to bring in a forward this month, which could allow Saeed Ben Rama and Maxwell Cornet to leave. There could be a number of departures from the London, London Stadium during this window. Wolves in the market for a striker to increase competition for Mateusz Kunia and Sasa Kalajic. Incomings, though, may require sales.